Good morning children. In today's class we are going to learn about network analysis. Network. A diagrammatic representation of flow of activities in a logical way. For example, I am teaching. You are listening. You prepare for the test. You write the test. And finally, I evaluate. Without writing test, can I evaluate? No. So in transportation system, there are some activities which need to be done first. With that, we can do the next next activities. So the activity which has to be done first, I call predecessor. And the activity which succeeds that is called successor so in a problem they will give you the list of activities and the events what are events activity lies between two events events are numbered in a sequential way from left to right one particular activity can happen between two events Supposing I say 1 to 2, I can have only one activity. I can have only one arrow mark. So from 1 to 3, another arrow mark. So 1 to 2, one arrow mark. 1 to 3, another arrow mark. Activities we represent using an arrow mark. And the arrow mark should not cross. One arrow mark should not cross the other arrow mark. I cannot draw an arrow mark like this. It should be a straight line like this way or like this way. It can be a vertical line. It can be a horizontal line. It can be a slanting line, but it should not bend. It should not be a curve. Now, having known the events for an activity, there is a starting event and there is an ending event. The starting event we call tail event and the ending event we call head event. Naturally, the head event should have more number than the tail event. If tail event is 1, head event should be 2. If tail event is 5, head event should be 6. So, head event is a number bigger than the tail event. So, in the very few problems of exercise, we are going to see how we draw the events circled with some number and the activities through an arrow mark. Such a diagrammatic representation we call network. And we denote the join of events through the path. Out of all the paths that we have drawn, the longest path is called critical path. Analyzing network. We have two methods. Program evaluation review technique. That is PERT. P-E-R-T. Or critical path method. C-P-M. This critical path method we are going to learn in this exercise problems. And this method of evaluating the diagrammatic representation is by Fulkerson's rule. So let us do exercise problems and learn how to draw the network. Exercise 10.2 question number 1 draw the network for the project whose activities with their relationship are given below. Activities A, D, E can start simultaneously. The word simultaneously says together at the same time. So A, D, E are the starting activities. So we mark 1 and then A, D and finally E. The next idea, B, C greater than A. That is, after A, B and C are coming. 
So, after A, say the number 2. We have two things. One is B, another one is C. After A, we have B and C. The next idea. G, F are after C and D. So, we have C here, we have D here. Connected. 1, 2, the next number 3. After C and D, we have G and F. So, we will put G like this and then F like this. After C and D, we have G and F. Now, after E and F, we have H. So, we will have after E and F. Put the next number. 1, 2, 3 over. So, 4. After E and F, we have H. So, we can draw H like this. Now, that's all given in the question. We cannot leave the arrow mark like this. A goes like this. D goes. C goes. E goes. From here I have F. Now B, G, H cannot be left like this. So combine them. And that is the end point. So B let me extend. G let me extend. H let me extend. As I combine them, it is numbered the next order. 5. And the problem is done. B arrow mark. G arrow mark. H arrow mark. And we have completed drawing it. As we have completed the rough diagram with pencil, we can highlight the activities. A, 2 to 5 we have drawn. Always use scale because the activities must be shown through arrow mark. D and E, all three start simultaneously. The next idea, after A, we have B as well as C. After D and C, we have G and F. After D and C, we have G and F. Then H is after E and F. This diagram need not be unique. The length of the arrow mark, the marking need not be unique. You can shorten the diagram. Shape may change. The logical order will not change. Question number 2. Draw the event-oriented network for following data. Here activities are not given. We need to just mark the events. Only numbers are given. So we are given the predecessors. As I read the predecessors. Before 1 there is nothing. So this tells me 1 is the starting event. Before 1, there is nothing. How do I read? After 1. After 1, I have 2. After 1, I have 3. The word here, predecessors. So, predecessors tell me they are before these events. So, after 1, I have event number 2. And then event number 3. The next, 
from 2 and 3 we have 4 so after 2 and 3 we have the event 4 so we can just mark like this after 2 and 3 we have 4 from 3 we also have 5 from 3 we also have 5 that is the next event after 4 and 5 we have 6 after 4 and 5 we have 6 so i can just mark a diagram like this way after 4 after 5 i have 6 after 5 and 6 we have 7 after 5 after 6 we have the event 7 so the diagram is so simple just by reading the predecessors we mark the events after 1 we have 2 and 3. After 2 and 3, we have 4. After 3, we also have 5. After 4 and 5, we have 6. After 5 and 6, we have 7. And that is the end of the flow. Question number 3. Construct the network for the projects. Given the various activities and their precedence relationship. A, B, C can start simultaneously. So, we will mark event number 1. Where you have A, B and C. A, B, C can start simultaneously. The word simultaneously tells us together. So, A, B, C from event number 1. Next. A is below E and F. What does this mean? After A, I have F, E. Two activities. After A, so say number 2. I have two activities. F as well as E. The next idea. After B, we have D. After B, we have D. So, we will mark D somewhere like this. C, D, E. All the three are before G. Or G is after C, E, D. C, E, D. So, all must join somewhere Here I am marking the next event. 1, 2, 3 over. So this is 4. Mark G. So after C, D, E, we have G. So G goes like this. Now we are left with F and we are left with G. My diagram should be completed. So we will have a number 5. And let us connect it. Now once again we will check the diagram. A, B, C start simultaneously. A, B, C from event 1. Let me mark the starting as 1. E and F are after A. After A we have F and E. D is after B. After B we have marked D. C, E, D. All are before G. C, E, D. Let us mark together. From that I have to draw G. Now this will end with F here. Because F has no other way. So F has to terminate. And this is the network for the projects. Given the various activities A to G. Question number 4. Construct the network for each of the projects with the various activities given. A, B, C. Nothing before. The predecessors are nothing. So we will say start with an event 1 where you have A, B and then C. 
all the three start simultaneously as there are no predecessors. After A, I have D. After A, A is the predecessor. So, after A, I have D. So, we mark number 2. After A, we have D. After B, we have E as well as F. So, here we mark the number 3. 1, 2, 3. After B, we have the activities E and F. So, E goes like this. Let it be. And I have another activity, F. After B, we have E as well as F. After C, we have G. After C, we have G. 1, 2, 3 over 4. After C, we have G. After D, we have H. After D, the next number, 1, 2, 3, 4, so 5. After D, we have H. After E, we have I. After E, put the next number, say 6, we have I. After H and I, we have J. After H and I, so we can connect it. Say the next number 7. After H and I, we have J. So we'll mark J like this. As we complete, remember to put the arrow mark. After F and G, we have K. So, F goes like this, G goes like this. Let us connect it. Next number 7. So, next number 8. Put the arrow marks. So, after F and G, we have K, the activity. Now, we have completed. Anything left out? No. So, we cannot leave the diagram like this. So, let us connect with the last event, say 9. We will see once again. Check whether between every events, we have only one arrow mark. A, B, C, no predecessors, tells us we have A, B, C starting simultaneously. After A, D. So, after A, we mark an event and then D. After B, we have E as well as F. So, B, we mark a number E, F. After C, I have G. So, this is C. So, mark an event and then I have G. After D, we have H. Here, we have marked D. After that, I have H. Finally, after E, we have I. So, E comes here. So, completed next activity is I. H and I, after which we have J. So, H and I, I connect and then I draw J. F and G, after which I have K. So, F and G, I connect, I draw K. Now, J, K are the final activities. So, connect them using an event. The next number, say 9. Events are numbered logically in a sequential order from left to right. Between two events, we always have a single arrow mark and activities are named. No two arrows should cross each other. Every time ensure all this in the project diagram.